vehicle off to your right hand. Being deployed to a war zone doesn't mean the training right, stops. <laughs> At Bagram Air Base, Apache pilots get the opportunity to improve their skills for their deployed environment while they're in it. This is called a longbow crew trainer. It's a transportable, self-deployable flight simulator designed to follow the soldiers anywhere in the world. According to Mr. Crowder, the flight simulators play a significant role in preparing Apache pilots for close air support missions in Afghanistan. As new aviators assigned to the battlefield or assigned to the theater, we're able to bring them in here before we send them down range to give them an overview of the Afghanistan train and also to get them uh, familiar with the call signs and frequencies. Uh, the simulator is very specific to Afghanistan. It has a load that uh, matches the conditions here with the mountains and the snow and all those different environments that uh, we don't, don't normally see back in the, uh, the United States. Chief Warrant Officer 4, Carl Schoenwald, a tax standardization instructor pilot, says the transition from simulator to the helicopter is seamless. The cockpit is exactly the same cockpit that you have in the regular aircraft or the actual aircraft. So once, if you transfer uh, you know, from here into the airplane, it's like you were in the airplane when you fly this, so, you, so it it's greatly improves your, your proficiency and your situational awareness in the actual aircraft. You want to attack practice not just in the train, but the exact environmental conditions associated with that train, temperature and altitude. The simulator replicates the real world virtually, preparing pilots for success before they even take flight. Roger, RTD and back to Bagram. Senior Airman Jamie Sikora, Bagram Airfield, Afghanistan.